Yo, what's going on YouTube? Back at it with another video. Uh, today we're gonna be doing some modifications to the rear bumper. I went ahead and took off my rear bumper and I did get a OEM, just a regular stock primered bumper from Toyota. So we're gonna be doing some modifications to this one. Um, just to make it look a little bit more aggressive because I don't have an exhaust anymore So the stock diffuser has the cutouts for an exhaust and I obviously don't have an exhaust anymore because We are running the hood exit on this car. I haven't seen a lot of Supras with the mod that we're about to do today uh, So I'm excited to you know try it out I think it'll look nice, especially once I put the parachute back in. Uh, you guys could see right here, I do have the bar, like the support bar uh, for the parachute. So I'm gonna go drive to my boy shop. I was gonna cut it myself, but my boy was like, nah, you're gonna mess it up. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the bumper back on. Damn, this thing looks goofy right now, but it's just held on by clips, to be honest. Like right here, just all like little clips. There's not much bolts that go onto it. I still have to transfer all the stuff over, like the reflectors. Uh, in here goes, the backup camera goes up in here. So, we'll see. All right, so we're right here at my boy shop again. What's up? All right, what are we about to do to this bumper? We're about to fuck this shit up. No, we're about to cut it <laughs> professionally. Yeah, so we're going to cut it like follow this, follow this line right here, and then cut it straight. And then I think it will look fire because it will show like a little bit of the tire. Yeah. And then it will look like a... Kind like of like those... an F80. <laughs> it will look like those uh, NA cars. The, <laughs> the NA Mustangs. Mustangs. <laughs> yeah. That, that's my inspiration. <laughs> fuck it. Let's see. Alright, vlog. So we cut this piece off already. My boy's just deburring the edge. Pushing my hairline back. But we still have like these pieces on the back. So that's a. Uh, oh yeah, shine the light. That's an evap from. Uh, what is that for? Uh, catch fuel vapors from the gas tank. Oh, cool, need that. We could we could delete this. Yeah. And then on this side, just a bracket for the siren. What do you think? You fuck with it? I fuck with the vision. At first, I thought you were crazy, but now that shit looks clean. The vision, though, yeah. We still need to do some stuff to it, but for right now, I think it looks clean. It's pretty solid. Pretty solid. I still gotta put the parachute on, but. I'm gonna put the play light right here, huh? Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once I take off the under tray wheel liner, I think it'll look hard. Yeah. Alright, so it's now the next day. Uh, we got back last night, started working on the 32 a little bit. So I'm changing out the gaskets for the throttle body and the intake manifold. And then also I'm going to be cleaning out the injectors. I don't know how long those injectors have been on the car. So I'm just going to go ahead and get them cleaned out just for, uh, just for peace of mind. So I got all the gaskets right here, intake manifold, exhaust manifold, throttle body, all that stuff. So I'm going to go back to my boy shop to finish up the bumper cut and also last night I opened up my interior because I think the problem that my car is having is with the motive box. So he has a spare motive box there and we're going to plug it into the car and see if it finally works. Alright, so my boy tossed me his motive box. 
I got my old one right here. So we're gonna swap it out and see. Hopefully that works. Go right there. Let's clear the codes. No more codes. So let's see if it pops back up. It is a hundred degrees out right now. So I better not have any problems hooking. <laughs> Good pool. Damn. The code is back. All right, we ruled out one of the things. It's not the motive box. So it has to be something else. Like there's no way. It has to be either the cam gear or I don't know. The car was pretty solid for like the first two gears. And then once I hit fifth gear, it just like, it just topped out basically. Um, once I hit fifth gear, it went back into limp. I wish I would have locked it. Since it threw the same code, I kind of already knew what it did. Um, but I mean, it felt strong. Like the power is there. It's just after, you know, it reaches a certain PSI, it just doesn't want it anymore, you know? So. But the good thing about the new Motive box is that it did get rid of my crankshaft code. So I used to have two codes. I had a crankshaft code and I had a camshaft code. So now I'm only stuck with one of the codes. So at least that's a good thing. We're about to put the parachute on the Supra. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> Perfect. Whoa, solid. Now nah, I gotta go higher. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Bro, life is different. Bro, first you have to see. I heard. Hey, no one knows the truth about me. Wow. No, no line on the parachute either. Hey, so I'm trying to egg on Robert to send me a new one, right? So I go, you think the regular that came on the new pump was that or was too big? Not really. So I guess today was semi-successful because we cleared one of the codes on the Supra, but I still have the camshaft code. We're about to wrap up this gasket install. Hopefully this clears the idling issues. So the reason why we're changing out the gaskets for the intake manifold and the throttle body is because the car was idling really high. So we're just going to replace everything and hopefully the idle returns back to normal. We already checked the throttle cable and all that, so we'll see. The RB26 and the B58 both giving me issues, but it's all good. We're going to get these cars fixed. When I get both of these cars dialed in, I'm going to do a POV drive and a sound comparison of the RB26 and the B58. So we'll see which one sounds better. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We're one week away from Beamer Invasion. This car's almost done. I just got to rewrap the rear bumper and we should be good. I think... The bumper cut turned out pretty good. Uh, just gotta do a few more modifications to it and I'll be solid. So hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'll catch you guys on the next one.